So in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I get asked a lot by people starting out with parametric design, and that is whether we should start with a graphical algorithmic editor like Grasshopper, or we should jump straight to a full coding language like Python or C Sharp. So I'll discuss the pros and cons of each. Uh, so you know, you can decide where you think would be best to start your journey as a parametric designer. And this is just my opinion. But you know, based on my 12 years worth of experience working with these softwares. I think this opinion is very valuable insight for people who are starting out with parametric design and are a little bit confused about where they should start and where they should put their energy at the beginning. Uh, so let's dive in. So the way I see this is that Grasshopper, Python, C Sharp, these are the medium, the tools of what we're using as a parametric designer. And it's the same way or the same relationship between different mediums that we have in say like art. So we have painting, sculpture, drawings, they're very different mediums. They have very different skills that go into them to be able to produce a piece of art, sculpture, whatever. But still the underlying principles of composition, proportion, structure, framing, you know, this is relevant to them all. And this is something very different to the actual medium itself. It's the artistry that goes into producing with that medium. And this is the exact same with our coding languages as well. We have our tools and our syntaxes, which are very different from each other. We know the different languages. But what's missing and what's different is is actually how we are using these tools to solve geometrical problems. And this is what most people's problem is. They focus a lot on learning the tool rather than actually learning the skills that they will need to solve geometrical problems. So, you know, the, the tools are interchangeable, but the underlying actual artistry to what we're doing as a parametric designer, the skills, the parametric design thinking skills are really what people need to develop more than the tools itself. So what's missing is this ability to think different and how to approach design problems as a computational designer rather than a 3D modeler, how to break big problems down into smaller tasks and how to piece these together using whatever syntax or coding language that you're actually using, you know, how to compose a base logic that you can use for your scripting medium. And so taken in this context, Grasshopper is far more forgiving than Python and C Sharp. It's doing a lot of heavy lifting for us in the background so we can piece together our scripts. And this allows us to experiment much more and much quicker with Grasshopper than Python and C Sharp because we're not constantly problem solving. Comma in the wrong area or a semicolon in the wrong place in Python or C Sharp and your whole script will break and you'll spend a lot of time just fixing problems rather than actually developing your parametric design thinking skills. So in my opinion, starting with Grasshopper is going to exponentially increase your parametric design thinking skills. So then when you do jump to a coding language like Python and C Sharp, you already have these skills and you already have the conceptual understanding of how to actually problem solve using geometry. If, on the other hand, you want to jump straight to Python or C Sharp, what you're going to be doing is one, learning the syntax and learning how to think simultaneously, which is a lot more work. Um, and so you'll, I think you'll find your skills and your progress will be slightly slower than you would if you start with Grasshopper and then progress to those languages. That being said, we have to admit that Grasshopper is a more limited coding environment than Python and C Sharp. This is really due, due to the, li, you know, the linear nature of Grasshopper rather than the recursive nature of Python and C Sharp. So yes, Grasshopper is more limiting, but in reality with the right foundations and the right approach to problem solving in Grasshopper, it's actually going to be a long time before you'll come across a problem that you can't do with Grasshopper and that you need a scripting environment like Python and C Sharp for. So reframing your view on this and separating the medium and the tools and the skills that we actually use as a coder from the actual more creative parametric design thinking skills and separating these two things, I think will really, really help you understand what you're doing as a coder and extend your capabilities as a parametric designer. So start with Grasshopper, increase your parametric design thinking skills and your approach to problem solving with geometry, and then progress to Python and C Sharp when the need arises. This will extend your capabilities and skills much quicker moving into the future. So if learning Grasshopper or getting it into parametric design is something that you have been thinking about, reach out. I have a lot of content, a lot of programs available, and we can get on call and discuss whether any of these are right for you. And don't forget to follow our YouTube channel for any of the other videos, tips, tricks that we're always putting out about Grasshopper. These will also help you develop these parametric design thinking skills and help you become a true computational designer.